He weighed in at 146.6 pounds with a record of 31 wins by way of knockout. Tonight in his 16th consecutive world title appearance. Find out right now. We are underway for the welterweight championship and Porter comes right out. Stepped right to Terrence Crawford and threw a combination. As we thought he would. Andre Ward and Tim Bradley with me. Joe Tessitore ringside here in Vegas. Andre, the usual welterweight output. Do you believe that makes for a grand opportunity? Crawford right now, he's calculating the speed, the distance for Sean Porter. He felt the power already. But that nervous energy right there, look at Porter. Senior, always a fixture in the Vegas fight scenes. Round number two in that first round, Sean Porter. Landed six of 29, Crawford landed three of 15. He's fought a lot of different styles, but he's never fought a lot of different styles in one man. And that's who he's facing tonight. He's facing a southpaw, a guy who fights left-handed, an orthodox fighter, a guy who can box and a guy who can fight and a guy who can hit good shot right there from Sean Porter. Sean he's in, you gotta be cautious and be ready every time. He comes in. Right hook by Crawford right there, got Porter's attention. Sitting right on top of the orthodox fighter. Porter just able to get away from the upper, but good exchange on the inside. Good action here in round two. Crawford lands a right hand. Porter so willing. Here come Bud. Crawford trying to time that backhand for a moment. Take back. To the body to finish off an entertaining second round. <laughs> to a firefight with Sean Porter. Meanwhile, Kenny Porter, the trainer father of Sean Porter, was giving his son advice in terms of how to react when Crawford does touch him. Down on Sean Porter, it's the southpaw stance of Crawford. When he was in orthodox stance, Porter was able to land his jab just against this guy, Terrence Crawford. Bud attempted right there, the uppercut, as Porter lunged forward. There. there it is. Good eye, Tim. Ooh. But it's coming. For the body with the right hand goes Porter. You want some of that? You oh, want that kind of like, exchange? Yeah, he likes it. It's over now. Bud is here. A fight about to break out now. There's a cut. On the eye of Porter. It looked like there may have been a clash of heads on that last exchange when both men came in. Remember, Southpaw and Orthodox, you can often get that angle where the head comes into play. So there is blood now around the right eye of Sean Porter. That is not a knockdown. Doesn't look like much of Porter had to pick himself off the canvas. That takes. Now they're wrestling against the ropes. And they're jawing right through it. And Terrence is playing into it. Paul versus Dorothy the Ducks. There it is. There it is. Terrence coming inside. You ain't with your Beautiful uppercut in the inside by Sean Porter. And then here's the moment where they tie up. And Porter went falling down. And in the end, wrestling fanatic, the father of two wrestlers who are collecting trophies, Tyrese and Little T. Round number four, punches through three, 25 to 20, Porter. Ooh! Beautiful surprising hook right there. 
from Porter. Coming into this fight, Porter's been cut 11 times. The majority of those cuts. See the urgency that I was talking about that Sean Porter. One left hand Crawford. from Crawford. Good shot right there to the body. But you see Crawford is not thinking about boxing. He's thinking about fighting. And then very accurate with the right hand as well. Puts him off balance again, right to the chest. You see Porter being patient. After Terrence Smith or throws something like that. As he bounces and then comes forward with the right hand. What Crawford is having issues with right now is the sneak attacks from Sean Porter. They're so explosive and so fast that Crawford doesn't have time to compute what's happening and before he knows that he's been hit. There's another left hand trying to dig underneath. At Hoping that Lunging pick. with the right hand, he gets out of the way and all of a sudden Porter goes face first into the neutral corner. Olay, Tess, Olay. Here comes the turn, the pivot. Short left hand from Crawford as Porter comes out of that position. And we finish up round four. Man, oh man, is this intense early on. For Sean Porter, he is tasked with handling that right eye that opened up due to an accidental clash in round number three. Porter sneaks in. Through four rounds, 39-37, Porter. Tessa could have easily given Crawford one of those three first three rounds. Good shot right there for Porter. But Porter would always do just enough to kind of eke out the round, and Crawford would give up that one or two blows that would seal the round for Sean Porter in my book. I would circle the second round as potentially the round that could swing the other. And he told me, I want Terrence to box more because that will open up the shots that he needs to land on Sean Porter. There's Porter coming in with that relentless aggression that he's known for. Terrence covering up as Porter tries to get around that guard. Terrence smiles at him and pushes him away. Doesn't matter that it doesn't hurt. Sean Porter's piling up points. That's exactly right, Dre. Now at range, trying to place that left hand right to the body. He does a few times. And then goes on the attack to close out the round, does Terrence Bud Crawford. This of, hey, you're letting him come up and just touch you at times. It may not matter to you. You're not being affected, but it matters to the judges. That's exactly what his trainer told him. Not and only now, the judges, but, but it's allowing Porter to get into a rhythm, to gain confidence. And it's forcing Bud to press because he knows he's behind, at least on my scorecard. Look at this one, Bud Crawford, scorecard. early on in round six, as you see the head movement from Porter, but not able to dodge all of it. Here Porter now comes in. Back and forth they go. Individuals, critics, fans, they, they got questions. And Sean Porter's asking those questions of Terrence Crawford tonight. It's a great opportunity for him to answer. Porter just crossed that threshold, and Crawford was quick to throw the left hand. I'm trying to cut off the ring there. Yeah, and touch that power from Crawford. Wide swinging right hand from Porter off the mark. Attempt at the uppercuts from Crawford. In fighting from Porter. High intensity stuff here in Vegas. On a night, he honors marvelous Marvin Hagler. And at the halfway point, it has indeed been a war. We heard Kenny Porter saying, pick your spots, pick your spots, but then back on defense. They really stressed fundamentals in this training camp to go up against Crawford. Of getting your hands back, of being in proper position defensively. Oh, 
Always willing, right hand there, the descriptive of mixing it up. There's a right hand from Porter. He hurt. He closed the gap and landed a right hand, but that is what Porter said the other day. He said he'll never see anybody as athletic as Sharp, but somebody who mixes it up. You have to mix it up against Terrence Crawford. From Sean Porter, Crawford has more glaring answers or more glaring questions to answer now than he did before the fight started. The end of round number seven. Porter landed that right hand in the seventh round. Ooh. And as we come to the bell, an opportunity to check in with Mark Kriegel and Max Kellerman. <laughs> Total punches, fairly even. Crawford with a slight edge now, 64 to 60. Good combination, he catches him coming in. Two punch combination by Crawford. And so good countering both off the back foot, off the front foot. And now sharp shooting to the head is Crawford. Good start to round number eight for the champ. Crawford landing some of those. It's that pop jab right off the hip from Porter. Ooh. Just missing with the left hand as Porter came in. Don Porter is in control and he's oh, lead right hand from Porter. And another one. Good shot. There he is, right hands. Porter's doing exactly what his father told him. Ooh, that body shot right there. Wow. Oh, what a good shot from Crawford. That was a great eight, wasn't it? Porter coming in behind the jab. Crawford sets him up with a nice body shot. But that looping right hand, that was part of the strategy. I told you guys, straight right hand, looping right hands, that's the main shot that Crawford gets hit with often. But that right there, beautiful step back. Awesome. And now the call to order changes of raise your level of intensity. Here we go, round nine. That's been missing from Crawford, the jab. He hasn't been on his jab. He's only landed 21% to this point. Olay. Crawford able to roll out to the left. Body shot from Porter. Left hand to the body again and again. Lead left hand from Crawford. As Porter keeps taking those steps forward. Ooh. Going underneath with the left hand to the body. In that last round, had nine power punches overall. 92 to 79 connect advantage for Terrence Crawford. Body work in that last round and the short uppercut that we showed. There are the body punches. 28 now. Patiently probing. Seeing what could be behind that jab. There's a combination. There's a lead left hand. Porter. Looks good on his feet, but not coming forward and firing at Crawford for the moment. There's the overhand right. And another combination. Beautiful work by Crawford. by the champ. He does damage. Kenny's on the apron. And he's stopping the fight. His father says it's over. Terrence Crawford has just stopped.
Persian trainers, already a two-division undefeated champion, a U.S. Olympian. What a great spirited effort. Here's the first knockdown, Timmy. It's all about timing. Told you Sean Porter makes too many mistakes lunging forward like that. Oh. Boom, hit with an uppercut. Terrence stepped right to the side, created an angle for himself, avoided those punches. 